happy Tuesday. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Um, I am so excited to be here with you guys. I'm, just, I'm Jake from Jake and Joy. And um, as you may know, every Tuesday we post a recipe of our recent season of Cook with Jake and Joy. And every, the first Tuesday of every month, we actually do a live version for you, which I'm really excited about. So sometimes we do comparisons of things, sometimes we do reviews of things, um, but today I'm actually gonna do a recipe for you that's super quick and easy and it's one of the things that, that I absolutely love because I keep the ingredients on hand. Um, they're usually in, in the cupboard, they're things that I normally have. So there's lots of variations of how to make faux tuna salad, which is what we're gonna be making today. We're gonna be using chickpeas, which I gotta grab my chickpeas out of the sink. Um, so, there's a lot of different recipes, and I looked at them all, and I kind of, and, we, and we've definitely done an episode of Coco Dick and Joy on this recipe before, so if you wanna go back and actually see the official recipe, you can. Hi, Paul. Um, but this is my, what I had on hand version, okay? So, what it looks like is two cups, uh, two cups, two cans of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, they're the same, uh, rinsed, drained and rinsed, okay? And then we're gonna give them a little bit of a mash. And if you have, actually a potato masher might be a good idea. I'm actually gonna do that. But you could mash it with a fork if you don't have a potato masher. You can see I was super, super prepared. So you can mash them a little bit so you get kind of that more, yeah, potato masher would be good, is best. A fork is, you could do it with a fork, it'd just be a little bit tough. So two cans, two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas, garbanzo beans that have been rinsed and drained. Now, one of the things I wanna encourage you to do is to make sure you look at the, the ingredients in any canned uh, vegetables that you get because oftentimes you can find all kinds of weird stuff in there um, that you don't necessarily need. So you, I like to make, I like to find um, canned vegetables that are just the vegetable, water, and maybe salt. Um, if there's anything else in them, I try to avoid that just because I like, why do I need to have more ingredients in there than, than is necessary, okay? So you're gonna see, you're gonna get some of these skins in here and that's totally okay. You can pull them out if you want to, but I don't mind them. Now, this is a big batch. You can do this if you only have one can of garbanzo beans as well. You can just lessen the other ingredients, but I have, my parents are coming to town. My husband's coming home from work tonight. And so I wanted to have a little bit extra for people, okay? So two cans mashed up. Then it's going to, you're going to add in uh, two, one to two dill pickles. Now I love dill pickles, so I'm gonna err on the side of more. So I did two, you add those in. You're gonna add in a half, a quarter to a half a cup of red onion, depending on how much you like red onions. I added a full half cup because I like red onions. Okay, then we're gonna add in three to four tablespoons of vegan mayonnaise. So I, we use Veganaise is the brand that we like, but there are others. So we're gonna add that in. Okay. And then we're also gonna add in one to two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And again, I love Dijon mustard, so I went with two. And I might actually, depending on how this turns out, I might actually add more in, because I am a huge, huge mustard fan. Okay. So we add those in. We're gonna give that a stir. Give that a stir. And uh, while you're doing this, you can be toasting your, your bread or you can be have your bed of lettuce ready to be, um, to be used with, to be eaten with it. I've seen people add um, carrots to this. You can add celery. I'm not a celery fan, so I don't add celery. Um, I've seen people do, um, they add like a sweetener, like a maple syrup or a honey. Um, some people have used tamari or soy sauce. They've put um, uh, tahini in there. So there's all kinds of cool ideas and options for you to put to, to make this really your own. It's kind of like what you have available in your cupboard, okay? So then we're gonna put add in a little touch of salt. So I just say a pinch, but I'm just doing a little turn. This comes out pretty quickly. And a little pepper, and you can see my, this is my husband's prized possession. <laughs> it's a pepper mill that we got when we went on our honeymoon uh, to Italy. Uh, so he loved it. He, I don't know why he wanted one uh, that was like that, but he did. Uh, and then the final thing is we're going to add an eighth of a teaspoon, maybe an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, okay? Give a little extra. You can, I've also, you can also add lemon juice. You could probably even add some pickle juice in there if you wanted a little bit more tart. Then you're gonna just mix it all together. You can see how easy that was, like so, so easy. So this is a great meal for, for kids. If you're on the go, if you're super busy, you can take this with you. This is great to top on like if you're gonna make a whole big salad, put this on top of salads, you can take this you know, anywhere. 
There you go. Faux tuna salad. So then, I, then I've got my toast here, my gluten-free toast that I toasted ahead of time. And I'm just going to put this on here. Like this, like so. Well, I like to do mine open face so I get more ingredients, less bread. You could also top, you could also put, you know, some lettuce on top of your sandwich if you wanted, and we'll see how it is. Mm. Perfect. There you go. Go tuna salad on this live episode of Coco Chicken Joy. If you make a recipe similar to this, I'd love to hear what you, how you make it, what you do, what you like, and um, go make this. It's so awesome. Perfect little spring or summer snack. Bye, you guys.